All right, the date is April 29th, 2019. Time is 6 p.m. I'd like to bring to order the meeting of the Board of Health of the Town of Douglas. Uh, first item on the agenda, we have civil site engineering here for 84 Bigelow Road. Experiences. So, <coughs> and Bill Morris is here representing civil site. All right, we have a um, site where they're proposing a new septic system or placement of septic system. Um, it's up on Manchog Pond and it's very tight, it's mm -hmm. a small lot. Uh, there's not a lot they can do there, so the heavy thick line around the property is the property line. And to the left of the house, as we're looking at it, highlighted in red there, is the excavation of the septic area. So the it's, leaching area? it's the leaching area right in here, yes. Uh, so in front of the house, on the bottom of, of the house, they have a um, septic tank and a pump chamber. Okay. They're coming out front and you have a force main going from the pump chamber up to the uh, leach system. Mm -hmm. There's a D box there. There is a distribution yeah. box there, and then it leaches out into the leach system. Okay. So they're going to need a number of uh, look upgrade and variances um, on this property just because they just can't fit anything sure. else in. So I did review this plan. Um, so we looked at bedroom? that. Is it a one bedroom? It's a one bedroom house. Okay. Yes. That's existing. Mm -hmm. Existing one bedroom. Uh, the proposals here is the left side of the house. They're going to be um, four feet, it looks like, on uh, one end and three feet on the other end of the leak system to the property line. Um, Are there how many, how many, uh, you know, um, how many lines of leach uh, yeah, lines are going off? It looks like they have. One, two, three, four chambers, rows of chambers here. Oh, they have chambers. Yeah, yes. These are um, okay. the bottom, the infiltrator quick four plus low, uh, low profile chambers. So they're, uh, I think these are eight inches in height okay. in there. Uh, I believe they're eight inches in height. I think so, yeah. About yeah, yeah. The low profiles. Mm -hmm. And um, the 34 inch, each unit is 34 inches wide and they're up against each other. So there's um, <laughs> four rows of them right up against each other in a bed configuration. Right. Um, so they just. It was right on the property line of there. Well, the wells or anything around it? The wells, there will be some local upgrades to the wells. Uh, the well for. Um, yeah, the abutter we notified is 53 feet. 53.8. 53 yes. Okay, out front to the left okay. front is a 53.8 foot setback. Mm -hmm. And there's a well out back that's 60.6 .6 feet. That is for our property, it looks like, correct? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So the only one that we need to be notified for that is the abutter to the left, 53.8. Right. They've been notified of the abutter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We've, we've spoke to them. So. Oh, yes, okay, that's good. So the, um, um, the reason why it's not any further is you have Benchog Pond in the back, 39 feet from the, from the pond. Right. So there's, you know, the setbacks to the pond, the water body, the wells, very property limited. lines, the house. It's very limited, very tight. How do they get their water from? Is there a well here? That, well, this is the well in the back is, is the water supply for this house. Okay. Oh, I um, see. Yeah. But it's off the property. Is there any talks of a um, It's This is the property line per record. That's the existing well. It's the well that... It, Provides water, for, I believe, for this this dwelling. In the front. In the, uh, is it in the front? Yeah, the on site is the on site is in front. The abutter is, is this one. Is the one toward not the one toward the pond? Then look at the one. I see the one is back toward the pond. <coughs> Seeing. Doesn't say how far it is from the pond. The well, <coughs> the well exists. Yes. So that doesn't need to yeah. give a setback distance. Everything what they're proposing. They need to provide distances to. to Where, where's the septic system for 84 cottage? This one. 
Right here. 82. This is uh, this is existing yeah. cesspool. Yeah, it's right next right to this one. It's right there. Yep. It's a circle. Uh -huh. Yeah. Existing cesspool. Yeah, it's a cesspool. Yes. So then that exists. So that's already region right there, huh? Where is the uh, well? Nature. I don't see the well. Four. Four. It's 84. 80, this this one around is the right. Oh. 84 is, yeah, 84 is Cottage in the left, 84, is the front of the house. I don't know how they got a truck back there. There must be an access somewhere over there. Somewhere, yeah, that's so a good question. Maybe that we just can't see on the map. Yeah. They've got a truck back there. There's a well there. Uh, I don't oh. see a well for 86, but it could be anywhere. Just might not be it. Be off. Oh, wait, it's yeah, way, they're, way, they're way. all over 100. Yeah, these ones are all the way back. So yep. I mean, those don't matter. But it's yeah, the 100 foot radius that it's showing the well way that down the. See the there's three that's wells the, actually down here. That's the big one, yeah. yeah. Being close to the water. The other thing I'd like to point out is the existing system is even closer and <laughs> it's in the groundwater. We're, you know. Oh, our existing system yeah. just now, yes. Yeah. Are those so shallow wells? The system here. Are they shallow wells? The hand dog or drilled wells, do you know? I don't know. They exist. Uh, the ones that we're asking the local upgrades to, which is ours and the one. 53.8. I would. Yes, I, I don't know that for a fact uh, what they are. No, this is existing well. My guess is that are they drilled, <coughs> the drilled wells, but I do not know that. All right, that would be um, a guess at this point. Yes, that's all it would be. <coughs> and, did you go up there? Did you do topographical survey with Margaret on that? Did you go up to the site? Have you been out there? Yeah, I've been there a few times. Are these concrete covers where the wells are? Yes. Or are they they're not the metal capped? Oh, um, I couldn't see the one on our property. Yes. The one um, next door is um, concrete. It's a concrete cover? It's a yeah. Well. It, it could be a drilled as well, but it's key. think so? Yeah, I've seen many that are, that are covered. They're I suppose, yeah. They're below could. ground level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they cap them with a concrete cover. But you pop them, it could be either. Yeah, I see more drilled ones that, are, that are have concrete covers over them than shallow, but it could be either one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, being uh, near the, the water like that, I don't know. Some of those, right? Buildings, but, uh, you know, some of those buildings are old too. They've been around. They've been there for a while. Where did you start the line? Sure. Cesspools. Uh, cesspools aren't allowed for new construction. Title five. Yeah. Long time ago. Long time ago. Seventy-eight. And you get two cesspools here. Yeah. They exist. They exist. If you have an exist, no, right? You can't have a new one. But I'm saying, if you get a cesspool, then you probably have a dug well if it's yeah. that far back. If the well is that old as well, I mean, yeah. the cesspools, I mean, they put cesspools back in in the 50s and before. Yeah. And Some of them work fine to this day. Yes, it depends where they are. It's all leaching. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's all how well it if leaches. they're leaching. The material and how much it, it, soap is in that. Exactly. If you're, in a, if you're in a gravel bank or something. I mean, we do have to keep in mind the fact it's gonna, that. It's going to leach. Um, be fine. It's limited to what you can do there. And, um, so at what point do we say, you know, tight tank required? At, wh what? at what point do you say, like, sorry, See, but it looks like you right. need a tight tank. Tight tanks, nobody wants a tight tank. No, no. no. I mean, that that pump constantly. The, yeah, the cost, the homeowner, I mean, from a health standpoint, I mean. But at what point do, do you get to it where things are so close that you say, yeah, I mean, this, is good. this would work. Yeah, this, yeah, this doesn't I mean, look bad. If it was less than 50 feet, I think we'd have to look at it. Okay. Not that I would, would be opposed. Uh, I think at that point you probably you might want to stipulate some ongoing well um, monitoring, or something. monitoring if it's less than 50. Uh, we, we can allow a local upgrade up to you know, re reduction down to as little as 50 feet. Yeah. And these wells if we have to ask for a, far enough away down here. Yes, these are. Yeah, yeah. yeah those are 100 foot buffer. That's 100 foot buffer, yeah, and he makes the, those arcs. 50 zone. Is this construction going to interrupt? 84 cesspools? No, it should not. It's all going to be, this, the total construction is going to be on this property. So I understand that, but is so, it close enough that physically it would disrupt it? Like the machines driving over the ground or something? Mm -hmm. Those one, two foot ruts? Well, they're not going to be able to, I mean, a, a cesspool in general, usually there's not anything more than maybe six foot in di um, diameter. Um, they'd have to, for the, you know, this, is probably 12 feet over the property line, 10 to 12 feet over the property line, the existing cesspool. And it's only maybe seven feet off the house, existing house over there. Yeah. They're not going to get a machine really that close. And there's a post. Mm. Right there. 
So there's something physical there. That yeah, that's going to be a tough. Yeah, tough it's going to be tight. Yeah, it will mm. be tight. It's going to be a small machine. Yes. A mini and a bobcat. A mini, maybe you're a, a rubber tie backhoe, or. You're excavating down about three, four feet. Is that what you're doing? Um, let's see. The soil profile. Uh, yeah, it's up here. Twenty-four. So a, b, two feet, two feet. Yeah. Elevation of ninety here, mm -hmm. and the bottom of the b, eighty-eight. That's two foot, okay. approximately. It can vary throughout the area yeah. of the leach system, but yeah. depending you, on the grade. Yes. Yeah. So within that area, there. Uh, Proposing approximately a two foot excavation mm -hmm. and then it'll be built up. Yep. Really? We're gonna, they're they're going to remove the deck too to give a little more construction room mm -hmm. to get that in. There. Yes. They're going to. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll help during construction. Then we build it after. We're going to do that. It's up to them. But yet, yeah, they're going to need this space. It's actually, I think it goes underneath the deck and a little bit there. Construction. Yes, he has. Okay. Well, we'll, uh, yeah. these, yep, we, I reviewed this and <laughs> but I, mean, I, I don't see anything better that they could do. Uh, no, I don't either. I, I think that... I mean, if you're looking at that, you figure out what could, what could better the situation. The best situation is to have a leach field in a place like this. Yes. I mean, they kept over 50 feet from all the wells here, which yeah. is important as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. They did that. They're 39 feet from the, the pond. I mean... They really can't get much because they're 53. Right. Getting further away from the pond right. really does not. Uh, they're kind of limited right there. The existing system is closer to the existing well. Uh -huh. So really, the only thing that's getting worse is the distance to the to, to Manchot Pond. Yeah. Um, but it, it, you know, I mean. But it's not. Yeah. A, it's, I mean, it's just it's a leach field. It's the best that. situation. Yeah. 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 I mean, the existing. Um, Cesspool on our property you're referring to, or the Corey, when you mentioned yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the existing the driveway. Yeah, the existing well. Yeah. The top and over there, right, or this yeah. one over yeah. here. Yeah, existing is over here. Existing cesspool is over this tank, septic tank, I think, I believe is. Yeah, the tank is there, and then the, it's somewhere in this general area. I see that, yeah, there's a little light colored circle with an S in it. I believe that's the cesspool. Yeah. yeah. It's a symbol they use in there. Existing septic tank and system to be pumped out, removed, and course with Title Five. Was there a leak still tied into that cesspool or something? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Because we were originally going to put it here originally because we thought this was um, the, the cesspool and this was the well, but yeah. it wasn't, so that's why we had to so switch that over there. And like well mentioned, so you, you know, we, so we're like, we, we had this limited space. I didn't actually. Yeah. This you was, know, uh, the wells and the, I haven't been out there. The Jim did the witness the testing. Yeah, this, the testing was done back in October. Okay, yeah. So, um, I mean, anybody have any comments? No, I, I, I really feel that uh, that's about the best you can do with that situation. Yeah, I do too. Other than a tight tank, and I, I hate tight tanks. So I'm not a big fan. Agreed. I don't Agreed. think it's quite that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I look at those as kind of last resort. If you yeah. can't, I mean, if this was a yeah. yeah. situation where you're 20 feet or What's something. the elevation from the, Ridiculous. from the leach field to the pond? 39 feet. Well, it's a distance, right? No, that, oh, what's the elevation? Distance. Oh, the elevation difference? Yeah. It doesn't. Does it it doesn't looks like the top do. of the concrete wall at the pond is 87. The leach system is about 90, it looks like, over the leach system. So it's not that, it doesn't come up that much. The so, it, no, it's about three feet. And, and that's they're gonna, the yeah. they're gonna raise wall. It, too, so. it doesn't show here how much below the concrete wall, the canning wall at the pond, <laughs> the water level, high right. water mark is. Right, right. But That's it. Changes. It's at least three and a half feet. Char, that probably changes three feet. Yeah, level, I'm sure it's yeah. variable. Dam, but... Yeah, I would say. Uh... So just as a, a list here, I'll go yeah. through these um, the local upgrades that are being proposed here. Um, asking for an 18 percent reduction in the size of the proposed soil absorption system, which is the leach mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm. Asking for a reduction in the 10 foot offset from the um, 
soil absorption system to the foundation and also the property line reduction. Um, asking for a reduction in the 10 foot offset from the septic tank to the property line. Mm -hmm. They're requesting five here. They're going to ask uh, the 10. Mm -hmm. And a reduction in the 100 foot on site um, setback from the well um, offset to a minimum of 53.8 feet separation, which is the distance from the leach system to the um, existing well over in the cottage, or 84, which is to the left. Mm -hmm. That's the closest distance, and that's the uh, offset request there. And they're also looking for a 50-foot offset from the wetlands, which is the pond, Manshock Pond, to the leach system, so absorption system. So th that's what is being requested. Um, now, do we have to make a motion on each one of those? Or? Uh, suppose uh, we could just make a motion. Um, we grant the local upgrade approvals as shown on the plan that I just listed. Yeah, I think you as all that. in one. And if you get a no, then you go back. Then you go back, back individually. Okay. Anybody's opposed to any of those? I just have one question. Yes. Just yes. slowness here, but Certainly. you have two eighty fours, and it says lot line. So. Yes. Yeah, this is eighty two. I'm. I'm yeah. Well, it's eighty two. The cottage yeah. is eighty two. Yeah. yeah, the okay. daughter is eighty two. Our property is eighty four. Okay. All right. So I um. I said we listed those. I don't see any better option here, as far as I'm concerned. I think this is probably the best situation. It's, it's definitely a much better situation that's out there now. Yeah. It's an improvement. We're getting the system up um, out of the groundwater, which it currently is. It's going to be a, a system that can um, be treated. Well, for I'd, I'd like system. to make a, a motion that we accept the. Yeah. Well, what is it? I can't see. I don't have my glasses. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the local upgrade approval. Okay, I, I make a motion that we uh, accept the um, the uh, upgrades on the uh, system, the septic system, but with one um, uh, reservation that I'm still concerned about, like the neighbors here. I'd like to know that they approve of this, rather than to just go ahead. We we really don't know if they are in full approval. Did you send a letter to? Yeah, we sent a letter to her. Yeah. Do, do you have a green card now? Yep. Yeah. Did you get a response to that? <coughs> well, we didn't get a. Um, I don't think I got the green card okay. back, but this is the, the, the date. Letter yeah. that was when, were they, when were they notified? Um, we mailed it on the 16th, April 16th. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. two weeks from today. Yeah. She got the letter. She called yeah. the office and talked I think that's to me 16 should be proper notification, right? Almost two weeks. Did she, yeah. Does she fully <coughs> understand what, um, you know, what you're planning to do? Does she really? I, I, you know, I don't know for sure what she, but she yeah. seemed to, you know, and, um, and, uh, and Margaret had a conversation with her too and asked to you know, meet her on site if she wanted to discuss it further. And, um, you know, she mm -hmm. said she was going to talk to Richard. And, uh, but you know, I don't really know where her headspace is completely. Right. Similarly, she, I mean, seemed, she seemed okay with it. I can't say, yeah, she said it was okay. Yes. Yeah, right, She's not right, here. Right. Generally speaking, with these tight quarters, everybody's in the same situation. Right. These small lots, everybody has systems and wells that are. Right. Less than the required amount. This is how these homes were built around these mm -hmm. ponds and lakes. I just don't want something coming back. Oh, yes. I understand we, we that, but she was properly testing. notified. Okay. okay. So we she did. require well testing for uh, that's, I mean, that's an option. Um, I would say uh, maybe it's a baseline. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything uh, beyond that. Mm -hmm. So we could find out now whether it's, if it's cam contaminated currently, then mm -hmm. it's more for her benefit than anything else. But... Um, well, right, then she has a baseline. If she wants to test it 12 months from now, see or if everybody this, this system could very well make an improvement on our well water. It I should. Mean, I mean, it, I, I don't see it. It simply could. Yes. You know, I mean, we have right now, you have a leach system in the front that's 
um, in the groundwater. Right. This system, right. Um, you have downs be four feet over the groundwater. Right. It's going to be treated before it reaches the groundwater. So it's it's an improvement on the uh, the current situation. Yeah. So I mean, if anything, I would say we were crying right testing of her well water prior to the installation or something. But but I mean, if that's something we want to, if that's something the board is wants to add to this. I mean, if there's any, um, if there's any feeling of like uncertainty, then that would probably be a good. So that would be after solution. excavation and after installation. I, would, I think you would. Have well, to you would the want that prior, prior to construction. That you'd want to write. If down. this is, well, yes, probably but definitely both. prior to construction. Probably both. Yeah, probably. Before well, you want a baseline. So you'd want one. Uh, before to find out what the water is like now. after or something. Right. I mean, right. if it's contaminated now, then... Right. I mean, but right. if it's not, then I mean, it's kind of for everybody's benefit. But, I mean, she doesn't seem too concerned. She's been probably notified. If she couldn't make the meeting and she's concerned, I would think, figure she'd at least contact the office okay. and state yeah. that, I know I can't make the meeting, but mm -hmm. these are my concerns. At least bring it to our right. attention. Right. No concerns. Um, yeah. She's, she was notified right. by mail. Proper notification. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was her, it's, it's really up to her whether she wants yeah, to attend the meeting or not. At this point, at this point, it is. Yeah. So I. And, and, I, my, I, I, and my feelings right now is, she's not here. She's probably content with the situation. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I, I would be here. If I was a, a neighbor and this was being proposed and I was notified, mm -hmm. and I wasn't comfortable with it, I'd come to the meeting. So do we but, uh, add the testing of the well? Or well how does the board feel on that? I mean, it's. Um, I think that's fail safe. I think it's a good thing to do. Do a baseline test to begin with? Right. Before construction. Yeah, we just, that definitely would have it before if construction. If it's that dug well, this could, I think it could be a problem because right. this is extremely wet right now. Well, if that makes us feel a lot better about it, and then and then if she does question it later, then she can always have, have a test done later and see whether or not it's... Basically, it gives everybody a baseline. baseline. Right. You Even for uh, the client at this property that's proposed in this new system, if somebody comes back later and is stating that, oh, my well is contaminated, said, well, it was already contaminated. Here's a, right. a baseline test. I mean, that's... Might be in some it's, it, it, it's just something that, you know, if, okay. if we wanted to, we'd... I, I wouldn't be mm -hmm. in favor of any extended testing. No. Um, that's maybe on something that's, you know, if, if we were going to approve a leach system that was 25 feet of away on a variance. Right. If it's less than then 50, then monitor. maybe you can start considering that. Right. But Six or 12 to monitoring. Yeah, I mean, we're allowed, yes. But I mean, 50 feet away. Still pretty far. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. yeah. And, and you got proper um, <clears throat> filtration for the leach system. It's better than existing, too. It's right. definitely an improvement. It's okay. definitely an improvement, which is currently there. Robert, would you be amenable to a modification to your motion to include baseline testing Absolutely. prior to construction? Absolutely, yeah. No, I think we all agree on that. Okay, let's go with that. So you want to include? So I have a second, right. then. We get the motion. Baseline tests that would be done prior to any construction, that there would a test be done and the results being uh, sent to the Board of Health. Okay. That's what okay, that's you want. Whatever you said. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> your motion. I mean, that's something I want to right. add in there. I think okay. I think it needs to be done. So and not we, just we do a baseline test testing of um, the existing well. At 82. At 82, yeah. Too. Okay, so okay. we have a motion. Anybody want to second that motion? I did. You did second. You did second it. Okay, we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Feel good with that, Bill? Okay, good. Feel good? Yeah. Okay. That's it's approved with that one. Uh, one stipulation on that well. Yeah, so they have to notify the um, about it at some point. They're going to have to allow somebody in there to. Uh, take a well sample. I mean, it's, I don't know if they have. Who do we use? I don't know, you put guys probably have a, a lab for well testing. I don't know if you, you I use anybody. Been involved too much. We use microbac. Yeah. And the board, we use microbac for uh, testing for town, yeah, you know, beaches, yeah. beaches and, and they're, they're local in there. Well, one of their local ones. So, if, if, you know, if you have any questions, you'll Margaret, have any questions about who to use and, you know, as lines there. Certified lab. Okay. That's fine. So. Okay. All right. So. so we're all 
all set for that one? All set. All set. We're all set. All right, great. Thank you Excellent. Very much. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Next item on the agenda, we have the health agent update. All right. Great. So um, not a lot of change. Um, we have uh, Gilboa Street. Um, <coughs> thought we might have an appeal today. She recanted her request for an appeal, I guess. Um, and they're fixing up the property, but there's kind of a dispute going on. But that's uh, that's ongoing still. We got a secondary inspection or a third inspection coming up in the next couple of weeks. Which one was this? For that property. It's a rental cool. duplex. Um, uh, homeowner, I guess, for whatever reason, the rent thing came up or something, and then they, uh, they, they had some problems with the home. So I went there and inspected once, um, found a couple of the problems. Uh, one of them was uh, mold was an issue. There wasn't that much mold when I went there, so I guess they had just cleaned it up or something. But there was some holes, so the landlord fixed that. Um, and then she requested a full home inspection for some other issues, so we went there and inspected the full home and found a few other issues um, and cited those violations and those are in the process of being remedied. Um, the mold still, I, I didn't really notice a, a big mold problem, but she did email a <coughs> North a South Carolina company had, I guess, tested it. I don't know why. I was confused as to why the South Carolina-based company was doing the mold testing. But they, um, they tested it. And I guess they found spores that were high. Um, I didn't really see a lot of evidence of mold, though. So maybe a better time would be, you know, we're coming up on a pretty high yeah. mold time of year. Yeah. So, I mean, the humidity is going to start coming up. So I'm assuming by the time I go next, I took a lot of pictures, like baseline pictures. Speaking of baseline, last time I was there, so I, I have some basis for comparison in the next inspection to see, you know, in 30 days how much more the mold is. Um, grown. The first time I was there, there was a lot of clutter in the home, so um, she did a really good job of cleaning a lot of that clutter up and putting things in bags and um, removing a lot of that clutter, because a lot of that clutter, piles of clothes everywhere, can produce a lot of moisture, you know, can hold a lot of moisture, and, and when you have, um, you know, a lot of people in one home, mm. and you have piles of clothes in a lot of the corners, and a lot of clutter all over the house. Well, it's it's not proper ventilation too. Right. I mean, that right. A lot of things contribute to mold. Right. And, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so, so my feeling was, uh, I, I can't adequately say that the mold is the landlord's fault at that no. point. You know, at that point, sometimes you got to clean. So, um, but but we'll see. So we'll see in a couple of weeks when we go back. The biggest the concern is when all of a sudden mold. I mean, mold is growing like you know. It's just quite obvious that right in the middle of a wall or yeah, something. I mean, if you have a little bit of mold, you take some some bleach and boom, right. and it's gone. You see it in there. I mean, bathrooms. It's expected to see that all right. the time because and of the ventilation. And sometimes it's around the windows, window sills get right. moldy. Right. I mean, yes. It just happens. There's dampness there, yeah. yeah. And then you know you just start. I mean, her was there was remnants of it in the corner of one of the bedrooms. It was a really small bedroom, and there was three girls all sharing one bedroom. So. Sometimes you just get a lot of people at night. You close the door, and right. Right. a lot right. of people in a small room sleeping all night with clothes in every corner piled yeah. waist high. You get yes. um, that can produce a lot of moisture in the air, and that can cause a lot of mold problems. So yeah. it was hard to be decisive as to why the mold was there. So, um, so we didn't cite the landlord for mold at this point, but um, cited them for plenty of other little things here and there that found around the home. So. So he's taking care of those things, no problems. That's good. Um, and uh, you know, the whole thing is a process. But um, and then I think that's the big one. That was the big one right now. We've got another one. We do have a. Um, if you have a chance, take a ride by Northwest Main Street, 19 Northwest Main. There's a property there. Um, it looks there's groundwater everywhere, and so it seemed like we we got a DEP got a complaint and called me last week. That's a wet area. The 21 or 22? 22-ish, that area. Yeah, yeah, it's 22, yeah. They, uh, they complained last week, so I went up there and took a ride, and I saw the orange stuff instantly <laughs> on the ground. Um, it looks like super high iron or something, maybe, is coming out of the ground there, but there's, I mean, there's a stream that, that I walked up, there's nobody home. There's a car in the driveway, but there's been nobody home all weekend. Um, you know, I was going to have them pump their tank and just make sure the system was empty and they're using it minimally to see what the problem is, get an engineer there. But they've got a river that runs, so the 
Leechfield's here. They got a, the houses here, Re Leechfield, and then the road, and they've got a stream that runs right around the Leechfield, and right around this area in front of it. It looks like it's coming from underneath it, but it could be just level. But it's it's a bright, pretty orange, copper color, water running down from that point oh, yeah. on. Number and, nineteen. This is. Yeah, and now you drive up the road, and every house has got. I mean, there's obviously a high water table. There yes. must be a spring right underneath there somewhere. Because you're kind of on a hill, mm -hmm. so it's not like the there's not. You, yeah, water, you're, you're not low. Water table, yeah. Water but, table can follow the contour of the ground, can be very high. In yeah, high and you points. get a little spring, a little hole somewhere, water spurting out there. That's what it looks yeah, like. Because yeah. there's a lot of water going mm -hmm. up that road. That's always a very wet on all area. sides. Yes. But I mean the orange water is. Yeah. That's you know something's going on. So, uh, but there's been nobody home. So. I mean, at this point, we're assuming, well, at least the system, if there's nobody home, then at least the system hopefully isn't being used. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah. That's it. That's one by. Mar Margaret's one by. She, she, she yeah. rolled it, has. She did. She, she did. did. That's what I was going to call her. Okay. Yeah, I didn't she get there in time. She ironed her. Yeah, orange. <laughs> that's what that would be my first indication as well. Yeah. So that's what's going on now. Yeah, and I don't know where the iron's coming from so heavy, but it's because you can see it. You can see, like, the water is, you know, it's dirty spring water on this side of her leach field mm -hmm. and then where the water is kind of coming around and it sort of goes back into the ground and comes back up over here and where it comes back up it's it's bright orange right He's there buried there and it's at the base of her leach field <laughs> right could be an old, old high iron contact the soils holes. i mean there's a lot of things oh yeah there is that but see that just a pocket just of it in that one could area. be yeah it could you, you never know what things could be i know right. that you know construction Back in the 70s, they, they buried everything. They buried everything. Yeah. They just buried it. <laughs> dug a hole and buried it. Right. Well, before construction, look at all these old farms. Well, they, yeah, everybody had to dispose yeah. of their trash on their own property before yeah. they yeah. buried it. Before they had uh, the transfer stations anymore, and just town yeah. dumps. Right. <laughs> they parked it where it died. And that was <laughs> you, you, got, you disposed of your tr you know, yeah. trash and everything on your own property That's years, right. you know, That's right. yeah. years and years ago. So right. That old car. Who knows what? Like buried raccoons. a car. Area, you know. <laughs> Way in the back, back 40. Yep. Yeah. Kind of middle. So I don't know. I mean, we're, we're yeah. you know, she's aware of it. Uh, the fire department was made aware of it. The town water and sewer made aware of it. Uh, they're not connected up there, though, anyways. But um, mm -hmm. they were made aware of it, anyways. And uh, I think they were going to take a soil test for us today. Yeah. Um, that's what the fire department told me. They were going to take a soil test and let the board know about the, uh, or let the, uh, the health department know about the yeah. results. Um, so, I mean, we've got people checking it out and working on it. We'll a lot see. of times, I, as you see, a high soil iron content yeah. just, just in the soil naturally. I mean, it looks suspicious just because of the location of it. It's, oh, yeah. It happens to be right at the corner of our leach field. Yeah. Right, it's right at the corner of their leach field is, mm -hmm. is where the, the, the coloration occurs. But, um, you know, something to check out, see what the yeah. soil or the, what the test comes back as, if it's just high iron. And, um, Have you spoken to the... Um, Town manager about last month when we talked about what recourse we have with these people that are defiant. With the anything, I mean, when you when you go in and inspect, and how, how far can we go? What can we do? Um, not a lot. Well, well it's a process. To, did you speak to our town council? Or? Uh, not directly. No, not about particular measures. I think that what would need to happen is there would need to be a motion at town meeting to um, revise our, or create a regulation that would allow just the same thing that uh, That's what he Larry says. did when for the building department. He did it last uh, last town last fall town meeting. Um, created a regulation and it was voted on at town meeting and they, they pushed a the regulation that he could fine up to three hundred dollars up to. Three hundred dollars. Well, that's something. based on violations, right? Better than what we have. Right, and our our process it gives is you a little muscle. When a little easier. Out. Our our process is the court system, so we have to right. go through, and then we have to file at the courthouse, and but it's not it's necessarily more of a that doesn't necessarily have to be our process, like you say. Right. We create a bylaw. Right, it doesn't have to be that difficult of a process. No, right. it can be a little shorter and a little just the violation notice, and then a fine if you don't hear right. and then a hearing if you appeal and go yeah. through that regular process of course well, it seems but, like it would make your job easier too oh yeah it would yeah. certainly make yeah. the adult's job easier yeah. 
I mean, people would have to do things like um, like that one home on Arch Street there. I mean, I think they're in the process of being evicted because that's bank owned. <coughs> and I finally, I mean, I tell you, the bank that owns it is horrible at communication. Um, to call anybody is a nightmare. Email is, has been better, but it was like two weeks before I heard anything from them. So um, they were made aware. I had a good conversation, and then it was like two, maybe three weeks before I heard back. Um, finally heard back, responded again. I haven't heard back again from my response. You know, it's been, so the bank is not a very, they're you know they're a multi-billion-dollar sure. company bank. That, Lisa, they have, right. I mean, they have another sub company that probably subbed out this to some other sub to go yes. and evict these people, and then they'll sub out to somebody else. We'll probably you know, to clean up the place. But I mean, they asked me, so I, I assume as soon as the uh, the eviction process is done which they're probably doing from their base in Florida or something, so whatever <laughs> whatever that takes. But once that process is done, um, I mean, they've asked now twice what, what violations existed and, and what they need to do to clean them up. But the first step is to get the people that are living there squatting to, to move on. So so that's sort of on hold until the bank figures out what they're doing with them, I guess. At some point, that may get legal too. Did I understand you to say that the fire department was doing a soil test? Uh, no, the fire department contacted the soil and water department, and they are doing the water, the, the soil test. I believe that's what the fire department told me. The, the dispatch called me back and said um, I contacted the soil or, or the sewer and water department, and um, they were going to get out there and take a water sample or a soil sample. Why is the fire department involved at all? Because I called. Them. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, why did why did, why are they involved? That's the only reason. They are part of the. The safety right. and well being of people. Yeah, yeah, it was the weekend, so I wanted to notify somebody that oh, okay. that there was bright orange stuff coming out of the ground and <laughs> and that we knew about it and that now they knew about it and right. so everybody's in the know. Right. He called the police department and let them know, you know, and, hmm. but I'm sure if somebody's going to drive by there and want to call somebody and say, you know, this is weird, it's like for us an orange stuff coming out of the ground. Maybe they were orange bodies. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. So, I mean, it's yeah. difficult to figure out who you would call because yeah. because even the water and sewer department, I mean, the water and sewer department mainly responsible for um, the Things town that, water. Right, they're connected the town to town water, yeah. um, wells, and that type of thing. But that has nothing to do with them out there. Right, right. So really, it's yeah. it's us, the fire department, um, the town engineer. Um, that's about it. I mean. And the, until you know now DUP, I, I forgot to call DUP back today. I'll have to call back them back tomorrow. On weekends, but, you sort of have a narrow choice. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of options. Um, now DP he was already made aware, so I'll call them back and let them know what's going on. Um, and then once we get the results of the soil test we'll, or water test, we'll we'll send that back to them and let them know what we found there and what the town engineer has to say. I mean, you know, they're involved too. So sounds good. Thank you. All right. Good. Yep. Thanks, Corey. That's it. Check. Thank you. All right. So the next item we have on the agenda, the proposed animal bylaw. We're we'll reviewing that. Here we go, Corey. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. It's not even here, huh? Where do we start? I thought he would have came to present this to us a little bit. Um, so I think uh, there's a whole thing, if I may, there's a whole thing on um, licensing. Um, we already have dog licenses in town, mm -hmm. so I figure that. Um, and there's something about licensing cats, and I am certainly not for cat licensing. Yeah, I mean, I that. think feral cats are a problem. Like, that is a problem. Uh, but that's... Don't the coyotes handle that? Yeah, that's a problem <laughs> that, that nature will sort out. And, I mean, I don't think we need to, like... You know, people have barn cats still, like... Yeah. We're not in the city. We're not, no, no, you know, it's right. not, not everybody's cat is just a house cat. Like right. I, I've had barn cats. We don't allow cats in our house. Yeah. yeah. I, cause they jump all over your furniture. They get cat hair all over oh, everything. Yeah. So, um, but we've had barn cats for years. Yeah. And I mean, we take care of them. We spay and neuter them. They live in the yeah. loft and yeah. mm -hmm. uh, they do a great job out there, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and licensing cats, I don't know. That seems, <laughs> I don't think we're ready for that in Douglas. Yeah. Um, so I skipped over that. Uh, you know, and a lot of the stuff, the, um, I mean, we already have licenses for kennels. The town clerk deals oh. with uh, kennel licenses. Yes. So I didn't think that was a problem. 
I mean, there's a couple of good things here, like this removal of and disposal of feces. Each person yes, who owns, that is, that is huge. you know, if you're walking your dog and it goes yeah. to the bathroom, pick it up. Yeah. You know, I mean, I would. Yeah. If you don't have something, go back when you're done walking with a shovel and pick it up then, you know? I mean, it's, a, That's right. it's yes. not a hard thing to pick up after your dog. So, yeah, I think that. Are we going to do DNA? So right. And how do you know? Right. And how do you regulate that? That's just people being nice people, you know? Right. I mean, yes. you, at some point, you got to think that people right. are still... I mean, now, granted, there's... there's well, definitely not, you know? Like, I mean, the ball field, there's people always throwing trash into the right. into bins that you're not supposed to, and, you know, oh, hey, I have this bag at home. I might as well throw it into that person's dumpster, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's going to be dishonest people. And I saw a dog behind a Chinese restaurant the other day. Well, uh, do his yeah. thing, and then just kept walking. <laughs> yeah. You know, and sometimes people aren't kind of, I mean, it's, that's what it is, you know, you're going to get people that just don't care as much as about the normal things that people should care about, but, mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, to make regulations, uh, I don't know, I mean, how do you catch them, you know, so the person that does walk away from it, unless you're standing right there, like, you, you know, I mean, how do you, I think for just, the most part, we yeah. don't have a problem. No, we're just writing a regulation isn't going to make those people change it. That's right. you know, we don't I mean, really have a problem. We can get into a giant discussion. Yeah, There's a lot of regulations out there that don't I see regulate the right people. And, and, you know, when the animal um, does go, then, you know, they, I see there's a lot always of people somebody do. that picks it. Right, they're right there to pick it up. Right, I mean, but I see a lot I of people see. don't. Like, there's definitely somebody that uses oh, the, get the bullpen. No, there's definitely somebody that uses the bullpen down at the ball field as a as oh, a dog really? run sometimes sure. and, and doesn't always pick it up. Maybe they just don't notice all the time, but... Oh. I mean, you know, and not the ball thing. I mean, I, you know, you find yeah, it, but yeah. whatever. You grab a shovel and you get rid of it. I'm, I'm not worried about it. No. Um, the chaining of the dogs, you know, I mean, there's still people that don't allow dogs in their house. Yeah. I know That's a lot right. of farmers. I have that, a problem with that, though. I, I mean, I don't like it either, but I know yeah. people that house their sheep dogs and stuff in the barn. You know. What about livestock guardian dogs? Those never live in the house. Those live in the barn with the there's sheep. There's a dog right across the street. I probably shouldn't say this. I feel it's abused because um, you know, they, they put him on a run, and that's the only exercise that dog gets. Mm -hmm. It's a big dog. They bring him inside hound. at least? It's a hound. They do know. bring him inside, but he's, he's walking in his own feces. Oh, they it's it it's just Gross. awful. It's just awful. That kind of stuff is too bad. Yeah, I, I, I just, you know, but I can't say very much. All right, there's not much you can do. I mean, and that's the thing. Like, uh, people get dogs when they're cute little puppies and I they know. get sick of them. And some people shouldn't have dogs, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, who am I to tell somebody they can't I know. chain their dog out, you know? I mean, if you want to be a person like that and leave your dog on a six-foot leash tied to a doghouse, I mean, that's horrible. But Forever. But you're the horrible one. Yeah, they I don't mean, have I'm, a dog. That's the worst part. No, no worst. protection. No yeah, dog. that's. I mean, they. I think they're. I think we have regulation. That that's just animal cruelty. Yeah, so I was gonna say. I think it's uh, this one is probably already here. So we already have animal yeah, we're, cruelty. Yeah, already addressed. Yeah. We already have animal uh, yeah. cruelty laws that require housing, like out of and shelter, right. out of inclement weather. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, so there's already there's already animal cruelty laws that are federal laws against certain things like this. I mean, to start getting nitpicky about. The length of a leash, and yeah. I mean, I know I, I, my, I, you know, I probably feel a little different than most about dogs, especially, but um, I do, uh, you know, I am concerned about that. To me, dogs are sometimes better than people. <laughs> often, there's. <laughs> often, I can't argue that point. <laughs> right, right, and there's, um, and it's too bad. But I'm, I'm not going to tell somebody no, that he can't have a barn dog. You know. No. I mean, I know a few people that have barn dogs, and the the herding dog lives in the sure. barn, and a sure. oh, they love and it a kennel too. under the stairs, but and they love it. They, gets a bred for that big it's thing, great. and then the the livestock dog lives yeah. in the barn with the animals. Right. I mean, I know a lot of people with livestock sure. guardian dogs, sure. um, and they never go inside. If they're bred for that type of thing, or they're you know they're huskies, huskies, yeah, Malamutes, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that dog want to be outside, right? They would right. rather. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, even when I was a kid, I we used to have a. One of those, it wasn't even a pure melamine, but the, my father said that the thing would shake off, you know, you wouldn't even see it. And, yes. call, and it would just stand up and shake off all the snow and come inside. Yeah, and, oh yeah, yeah. But it would rather just lay down in snow. I don't believe it. Yeah. So, I mean. And Husky growing up, the dog never wanted to be in year round. No, right. No. No. Coldest day in the winter, did not, <laughs> could not well, get it. At in. that point, it probably loved it in the summer. Loved it. probably dying. Yeah, yeah. right? right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Although true. that's an insulator, too. Yeah. 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 It gets that air right. insulation layer. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it, so. 
I don't know. It seems like a lot of the the important regulations. I think we already have them. We have yeah, yeah. we have animal rights laws. So okay. the cat thing. I don't know the kennel thing. We have kennel license already. You have to register if you have a kennel license. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if you violate our current regulations, maybe we need more countermeasures for for violations that exist. Mm -hmm. But we already have registration regulations. We have kennel regulations already in town. We have animal rights laws. We have a control and confinement law. I'm against the leash law. I think a control and confinement law is the way to go. I think if you don't have control, then you need to leash your dog. If you, yeah, yeah. right? I mean, and that's what a Our control and confinement law. But if yeah. you can control your dog, I love seeing people walking dogs off lead. Um, I try as often as possible to walk my dogs off lead. They behave better yeah, off lead. They understand. Mm -hmm. They don't pull. They have nothing to pull. You get a dog that's pulling on a leash. A lot of those retractable leashes, those are the worst oh, thing in the world. Awful. Those train dogs to be aggressive and to pull, and yeah. people love yeah. them, but those are the worst leashes at all to train a dog with. Oh, yeah. um, I, I use no leash at all. I mean, mm. I'd rather just not use a leash with my dogs. Mm. I use an e-collar, if anything. Mm. Um, that way, there's it's just a beep. You know, it's a beep and a zap if you need it, but it's a beep. Mm -hmm. And they respond to that. That way, there's, none, there's no pull. I mean, I, I prefer no leash at all. So I, I'm against the leash law, too. I don't think... Um, telling people that they have to lease their dogs. I think people need to be responsible, and if they don't have a dog that behaves properly, then they need to be responsible for pet owners yes. and lease their dog. So containing control and con containment law or confinement law, that's what we already have in place. I think that's the right one. Um, the feral cat thing, I don't know. Okay. I tend to not trap trouble cats. <laughs> cat <with businesses. laughs> it is kind of so we... Uh, Tend to uh, order a, yeah, I mean, I think yeah. that those were the big ones for us, mm -hmm. I think, that you had outlined. Um, there was one here, too, about um, all kennel licenses must be required to be signed off by, like, four different people. That's a lot Tax of people. collector, zoning enforcement officer, health agent, and or building department. I mean, I think we have a kennel license. You need a kennel license. I mean, I, I'm now, like, I'm not for puppy mills. Like, there was that one in... Uh, no. No. Oxford, yes, that I, I we bought a dog from there once. We had to return it. The poor thing, the poor little puppy, was in horrible shape, um, and it was uh, stunted. I mean, a bad, bad situation. And that place, that place is a mess. Fortunately, that's not in our town, but that place was a mess. I think there was one in Dudley too. Actually, there might have been the same one. They might have just moved. Um, I don't know if you legally can say the name after you bash them, but uh, Laughlin Kennel. Yeah, but they're. Uh, but I mean, they. And then maybe they cleaned up by now. That was, you know, 10, 15 years yeah, ago. Well. No, I've still heard this stuff by. So they're still, they're still in there. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, people start to find out about those places, you know? And so we have a kennel license requirement. I, I think maybe kennels should be inspected by one. I don't think you need. It wasn't even to be inspected. It was that. Signed off. Yeah, just be signed off on to make sure all taxes are owned. owed. Yeah. I, I don't know. date, yeah. Yep. I think if you have a kennel license, I think that's... <laughs> I, don't know, I hate paperwork. I hate to make people do more paperwork for very little yeah, gain. We're gonna do that. You know, waste trees. Doesn't seem necessary. There are two requirements here under cats for microchipping. Oh. Mm -hmm. But nothing under dogs for microchipping. Yeah, see, now, or other animals. I mean, I, yeah. I think that, well, I don't know. It may be because dogs wear collars. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I like the idea of microchipping a dog. I think once we have uh, one that, of my dog's yeah. hips done, we have to have a microchip once you. Mm. But it's, um, I don't know, I mean, it's a good idea, but to make people do it is, that seems a bit excessive. And then there was another one about registering domestic animals. Um, I would say no. Uh, I don't want to register my chickens. I have chickens, goats, sheep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, with I mean, I'm with you on that. I don't want yeah, to register, you know, I register yeah. them. I already pay a registration fee for, like, the breed associations that I register the goats and the sheep, right? I don't want to no. pay a fee in town because I want to have a sheep or a little kid wants to buy a rabbit at a pet store now you right. got to go to the town and pay 50 bucks yeah. to have a domestic animal permit mm -hmm. one, one, one I don't think chickens. we need domestic yeah. animal no Good I don't point. think yeah. I don't think we need domestic animal permits either would it be safe to say that you feel that this is overkill yeah I think uh, I, th I think the regulations we have in place are sufficient at this yeah. point in time yeah. Yeah. I mean I, it's a good idea you know if and I can imagine a lot of this stuff if you live in a city or something or like a really more densely developed area, that stuff probably becomes a problem. But mm -hmm. I mean, we're in Douglas, Douglas here. Like that's why we moved to yeah. Douglas is to get away from um, 
densely populated areas, mm -hmm. you know, because we have the space. So I, I, I assume adding regulations on people would be a deterrent. So if they do go along with this, what don't you want to do as far as... I don't like any of it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing down. Just that you do, you agree with the kenneling. Um, we already have a kennel license. Right, so whatever we have is what we... Do. Yeah. I think they are going... They may go along with this, but I think they're looking for um, our input. Well, I, am for, I am big against anything with domestic animals, anything with the cats. <laughs> permitting those? Yeah, permitting the cats, permitting domestic animals, uh, microchipping cats. I don't like any of that. The only problem, you had mentioned the leash thing, okay? I understand I, that you could probably handle your pets that way. There are a lot of people who can't. No. And, and that's, that could be a problem if, if we do away with the leash law. Could have dogs that could be vicious. Well, currently we have a control confinement law. Right. So that's what we have. We so don't have a leash law. We have a control and confinement law. Okay. So how do you do that if you're walking the dog and that dog is not going to heal next to you? He's going to take off. Who's the the? No, person? I'm just saying in general. Like a person's dog. A person's dog walking down. You you say they they don't need a leash. Is that what you're saying? No, not if you have control. Okay. But like, I, I see that guy walk in his lab every day, just about. Right. Uh, I think there's one of the Carters or something. But he, he walks his lab, a um, little black lab. Next okay, so this Some, guy is able to walk his lab, but the next guy has a pit bull. Yeah. And he's going to walk it without a leash. And I, I don't think I have to explain to you that that could be an issue. That mm. could be a problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I think people, I think if they don't have control. They control the dog. That's right. Everybody, yeah. oh, my dog doesn't bite. Yeah. Oh, my dog doesn't do Yeah, this. no, I, don't, yeah. I wouldn't believe that. Yeah. You need to be able to control your dog. It's not you about. You can probably control your, your dog. Your control no might problem. be different than somebody else's That's control. right. Right. Well, so control, I think, is defined um, like the dog will listen to the command and stay with you. Like a, so, like, if, if a dog's walking by me and I tell my dog to heel stay, hmm. the dog can walk right next to us and my dog will heel stay. Right. Your dog is and, trained and you're, con you're right. confident in that. Right. You At the know. same time. So, now, I, I did a, the home inspection and the pit bull was on a leash. Mm -hmm. And the pit bull was obviously not a super friendly. I mean, the guy said the pit bull's fine won't bite. Okay. Well, the pit bull <laughs> jumped at me three times. Yeah. And on the third jump, it broke something about the leash and the dog charged at me. So, I jumped back in the truck. And as soon as I did, the dog ran down the road and across the street and ran away. And the guy had to yeah, go chase him. With or without a leash, he was going to get you. <laughs> right, right. So <laughs> in, in that case, the leash doesn't matter at all. The guy had no control no matter what. No, so again, saying you, I don't think a leash is going to save it. I, well, if you're walking down the street with your dog and there's a, a baby coming the other way, a little, little mm, child, yeah. and that dog gets loose, that, to them, that little child is not a big person. No. And, yeah, but no. with the control you can find, isn't it still your responsibility to yes. determine what's best? Yeah, right? if, you're, yes. if you can't control right your dog, you need to leash it. That's what it is. Right. If you can't control well, your I'm dog, saying. it has you to be confined. It. So then I if, think if there you. probably would be something if, there would be a fine if something happened. Yeah. If the dog did something. Right. Right. If you're not in control of your dog, depending on what well, happens, it could be criminal law. The control and confinement law is the same thing as the leash law. It's it's saying the same thing. It's saying if you like, because you could like. You could have a dog on a leash, and a uh, pit bull might pull it right out of your hand and then go, right? And you've now lost control. The same thing if, you, if you're healing the dog, if you don't have control of the dog. I mean, it's uh, my like feeling is, and my feeling a leash is, is a physical thing. But my feeling is that everybody should be required to use a leash if they're walking their, their dog, say, down any town road. Because you just don't know, Corey. You just don't know. Your dog is, is probably fine in any situation, but the, the other dog, you just don't know. I've, I've walked into places where people say just what you said. Mm -hmm. My dog doesn't bite, don't worry about it. Next thing I know, I got a German Shepherd on my neck. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I would never yeah, walk into a home yeah. or trust anybody's dog in a home, especially. Or even but, uh, walking. I mean, but I think if you're out on the street walking your dog, you're aware if your dog is listening. Most people don't want their dog to take off either. You know, most people mm. are concerned that most people, I think, use a leash more because they don't want their dog to run away. No, that's the whole thing. I mean, you really don't want Then to control, control, right? Most right. of them think that their dog won't, will just run away or right. will bolt at a dog that across the street or in a yard. Get hit by a car. So I think if you're, if you're comfortable enough and you have a, and you trust your dog enough to know that your dog isn't going to do that, that would be the only, I, I would never walk my dogs without a leash if I didn't know 100% that 
even if a dog came right by us, mm -hmm. he would rather listen to me and stay than go after that yeah, dog. That's your dog. Right, right. But, but what I'm saying is because I know that, I, I, but if I didn't know that, I would use a leash. Right. Like my Sadie was a bull mastiff. I would always walk that dog on a leash. Yeah. And she was really good, but if another dog came, yeah. she might very well say, ah, eh, you know, I'll listen to you in a minute. Let me go look at this dog first. <laughs> exactly. So I would use a leash with her. Exactly. And that's just a responsible pet owner, right? Yeah. So Ryder, I don't need a leash. So I don't want somebody to tell me I have to have a leash with him because he's good. Now, my other dog was not that good, like I said, Sadie. But you she made that. A leash. Okay, you made that decision. Right. That, you know, you know that this dog, and that, okay, fine. Mm. And another guy walking his dog says, hey, this guy doesn't have a leash on his dog. Why do I need a leash? It's just. My answer would be that if your dog listens to you, then don't use one. <laughs> I, I just don't want to keep telling people what they can and can't do. I understand I don't that. Like, I, I don't want. I don't, I don't like, like that either. The rules but, but there are certain people. things that are safety things too, and that, that right. to me is a safety. Issue. And I think that's the control and confinement law. Yeah. If you don't have, if you can't maintain control of your dog in all situations at all times, then you have to have it confined. Confinement is the leash. Yeah, but who makes that judgment call? You do, as the yeah. dog's owner, as the responsible owner of the dog. And I mean, God forbid, if something happens, uh, you've now violated the regulation, and you're sued. I mean, you get in trouble. Well, I don't necessarily agree, but... That's been the regulation yeah. for yeah. ever in town. Correct. And <clears throat> yeah. it is just Douglas. So there's a lot more back roads where you're going to be walking your dog, where you're just going to pass yeah. cars. I mean, I would think a bigger problem is people walking by houses and dogs and houses right. coming off of the property. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think that is a far bigger problem than people walking their own yeah, dogs they, on the street. They don't contain their animals. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a that far bigger be, problem. That should be and that's why the control and confinement law is in place. It's right. is really to protect. Oh, they have to control their animals. Because everybody I know that property. walks a dog without a leash has total control of the dog. Every dog I've seen that is on a leash probably needs to be on a leash. It's the dogs that are in people's yards that come barreling through that invisible fence. That is such a false sense of security. Oh, of course, of course. Fifty percent of dogs will jump right through oh, that. Go right through it. Oh, yeah. And then they can't go back. Correct. <laughs> now, yeah. now, now right. they won't go back. No, won't so go now back. they're stuck out. They're out. They're out. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'm free. <laughs> right. no, so I, now, mean, I have a fence around my uh, period. I do too. Fence. Even with my dogs who are really they, good. They I have don't a fence, but get out of that fence, period. No. And if they do, they're on a leash. But I've been, I, my wife went running and I mean, I had to, um, you know, go and help out the sheep, and dogs ran right through the electric fence and oh, right yeah. at her. Yeah, and uh, then the homeowner, when I went there, the homeowner said, no, no, I have a, I have a invisible fence. It must be my It's I invisible, said, all right. I was the animal inspector at the time. Oh, yeah. And I, yeah. Yes. Well, no, it's, it, it's not <laughs> true because, and believe me, I know the person who this happened to happened to, you know, be married to her. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure she's not lying about it. But, uh, you know, it's those kind of... It's those dogs that make you worry, right, right. more worried. Or, right. um, that I think that's more of who the control and confinement law is for. It's for the homeowner. If yeah. you can't control your dog, you need to that confine your dog. Yes. As far as okay. walking, I think most people <laughs> use a leash. But. Okay, so this is going to go to town meeting. Uh -huh. Probably not this, not this town meeting, but a town meeting. Okay. Next year. What don't we want in, the, in our part of it? Specifically? Like the about Board of Health things, like what... Do you want to that's take that? Were, so I, that's what we need to do. That's what we're looking to do. Because mm -hmm. Matt, when Matt saw this, he's like, I think the Board of Health is going to do this. Because there are names yeah. in yeah. So there's one, nine, okay. nine, nine, nine. Well, first we of all, the cat, the cat registration, the animal registration is ridiculous, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't go along with that. No, that's kind of... Registering a cat. A cat. Yeah. A, 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 a chicken. Animal chickens. I mean, yeah. yeah. Chickens, uh, rabbits. What? Yeah, right. getting the permit yeah. for raccoons. Yeah, raccoons. So the feces yeah. one's good. Whatever. Um, the feces one, yes. I don't have Except a for C. C gets a little crazy. C. I like A. Feces. The feces part A. <laughs> feces part A. Reference that. <laughs> Just A. Part C. Now we're into C. how we're going to tell people how, oh. how to properly dispose, dispose of it. Dispose of it? Yeah. How, how would we dispose of it? Woods. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, I mean, at a place, but I'm saying somebody over this is yeah. saying this is saying they almost want you to empty it into a toilet and flush it. That's pretty much what it says. Yeah. Into a septic. At a system. place suitable and regularly think, you know, reserved for disposal of human see. feces. Keep it. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said. Which one is the trash? Was well, that suitable for human feces? Is that be a pretty, I mean, that's yeah. what that says here. Yeah. Yeah. You would think that, well, yeah. how it's written, you expect we'll go with all. I know. I mean, I'm not cleaning my chicken coop, and next we're gonna be. 
Well, I'll be doing all the wild animals and everything down there. Yeah. Come on. I don't know. You think all the wild animals we have out here? Yeah. In the woods? You know, it's. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. I just have to throw it. Come on. Well, there's one later, too, that says license required to transport garbage and other offensive materials. Is that on the same one? That was, it was over, like, the last page, just about. And that one I thought was... Like, last page. It was... You got a number? Here. It was 9-9. 9-9. Nine. Nine. License required for transport garbage and other offensive materials. What mean is that? It's more garbage. Like to the dump? <laughs> like to the transfer station? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. I mean, just stick with the, I think the regulations we have in town now, right? We have yeah, regulations yeah. that say you need to take care of, I mean, there's animal rights laws, there's registration laws, there's kennel laws already, or regulations. Right, right. Um, I mean... We have a thing about swine. You can already not have more than, what, three on less than five acres or something? Um, well, this is just about feeding them. Right. To get a license. Right, and I don't get a license to feed your pigs. I mean, if you're, feed them. If you're already able to have, that means you have more than five acres. Right. If you have more than five acres, you can register as a farm. I'm not going to start telling farmers they can't feed their garbage to pigs or they can't go around and collect even, like, restaurant garbage and feed it to their pigs. It's right. a great use of something that's being slap, thrown away. Slap yeah. Regulations. Uh, you, you know. know? I mean, regulations I feel like feeding garbage. garbage to pig, I mean, it doesn't make for good pig meat, but if somebody wants to, somebody uh, wanted to uh, eat it, then no. take some garbage from the house and bring it down to a farm in town and yeah. give it to them. Yeah. They, you know, license to do that. I don't. So think section so. three oh, yeah. about the kennels just get rid of board of health, wouldn't that right? You don't want anything to do with the kennel. Permanent. Catteries. No. Idea of a cattery is coming Yeah, 9-9, I'm going to do that. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. <laughs> like, why is it in here? Yes, why is it at all? I don't, I don't understand that. What does it say? License required to transport garbage and other offensive materials. Oh, my God. So, it's a license to so transport So, if you're garbage. moving, like, um, manure, like, to a yeah. manure pile or something down the street or... Need a license to do it. Would you want to go to the farm and get some manure and bring it home yeah, for your garden? Home for your garden. Yeah, you need a license? That is unbelievable. Yeah, I don't Grab a, some bags of manure and I'm like... <laughs> I mean, again, like if I if I lose a little bit of goat crap at the back of my truck in Douglas, does it... <gasps> that's why we live in Douglas, right? That's, that's why it. we live in the country, that's so that's we it. can enjoy that, some buddy, things about the country that yeah. we like. I don't know. Yeah. Even the water thing. Garbage. Now, that seemed like a good idea at first, but then I thought, wait a minute, you know, I got a couple of friends oh, that, that fenced off a stream so that their animals could go down and drink fresh water out of the stream, too. That's a really nice thing. Mm, mm. That's, like, such a cool thing to have your... But what do they say about that? It says, uh, access to, of domestic Reward. animals to surface water bodies shall be restricted to prevent stream bank erosion and contamination of surface water. This should be public hearing for, you know, for the Board of Health granting access to surface water bodies to owner domestic animals. Because a lot of people, you know, especially, uh, you'll see it in, like, Vermont, big farms. Hmm. You know, they'll have, like, a small little spring or a river or a small pond, and they'll right. they'll pasture all their cows out there so they can drink fresh water sure. every day. Sure. Yeah. Um, so get rid of that? Yeah, why would we want to tell people they can't? I mean... I don't know, that doesn't make sense either. I mean, we're, I mean, you, we you approve meat systems 40 feet away from a lake, but right. we don't want a, <laughs> a goat drinking out of the pond. I mean... That Seems, seems like just... It's just an overkill. Yeah, exactly. It just seems like overkill. Did Kevin write this up? These up? Wow. He did. All right, yeah. keeping a foul. See, I wish, right, I wish he was here to explain some of these. I can have him come here because we don't have to do this. No roosters are allowed in residential areas. Now, I understand roosters annoy anything? people. Okay, unless there's something I'm totally missing with some of these regulations. I, I mean, know. some of these don't make any sense to me at all. But if there's something I'm just totally overlooking... I don't want to... I wish limit, you, I limit wish you come and explain these. A rooster must right, be kept um, 250 feet from now. a property line. Plenty of time, okay. Oh, come on. Wow. That's I mean, ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's yeah. a long ways away from a property line to keep a rooster. Yes. Right, keep these. <laughs> I, mean, let's, I, I think we should... Uh, yeah. 
Let's a hold maximum. off on these and go over these with Kevin. I mean, yeah. he, we should have him in here to explain some of these. That's a good idea. Review these and th the, any of these that we are, you know, we want to C is the though. only one I kind of like. C. C on the foul one is the only one I kind of like. It? It's a maximum number of live foul to be in a restricted area hen house. Uh, no more than 20, no less than 24 feet from a property line, okay, I think. Yeah. 24. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh wait, no, oh no, no, no never mind. That's not even feet. I, re I misread that. That is the max number of animals to be 24. No, okay, cross that out. I have more chickens than that now. <laughs> yeah, well, you, maybe you have some, um, years, a few years what about back, when I, I had like 300. Chicken? Yeah, when you hatch them out, I mean, you start off with a lot more than you end with. You, sure. you sell some off, you eat some of the roosters, by the end of it, you know, I might hatch 50, 60. By the end of it, I've got like 20, 30 left. But at what point, I mean, unless you're going to measure it in pounds of chicken, like cause the smaller they are, the less they weigh. If you want to tell me I, no more than 150 pounds of chicken per resident. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and weigh all my birds yeah. and make sure I, I'm going to limit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think that's, we should have Kevin come in here and explain. We already this. have a swine regulation, okay. so, so the swine stuff, we already have regulation for that. And then, like I say, the garbage one. Yeah. I don't know. It seems, like I said, it seems like a, we already have a lot of the th important things, I think, regulated. I think this is kind of getting a little bit. Directly up. looking at this, I agree with you totally. I think we should have Kevin come and explain some of these because I, unless I'm totally missing something here. I mean, I think you need to rewrite. I, I just. If you can explain I, something that's, I'm, I just I'm, don't we're think not need thinking it. about it at all, yeah. Yeah. And give us a different perspective on something that. Well, oh, well. I mean, what Courtney said is, you know, we have regulations now. We do. Right. What's what's the you know right. just we'll stick with what we have and maybe add you know whatever small things that they right, right. when I was a animal, couple of things like, yeah. I think yeah. Corey should be weighing his chickens he wants it because he works for yeah. several towns yeah. yeah. we'll each an individual <laughs> chicken to be weighed and, and it'll just be easier for everybody to be the same <laughs> yeah we're not a dumb we can't dump so as you say what other towns do you know what other towns he works for Blackstone Uxbridge. Uxbridge already has a lot of regulations. I can't imagine they're going to add to it. They already yeah, made these ones I guess, from I think them, they did it. They, they have a lot they, already. This is there. I think the other towns already accepted this. Oh, oh. Man, man. I know. Don't move. That's crazy. Stay in Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in Douglas. We, yeah. we let you do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could have them come to our next meeting. Now, this is not going to happen for... Right. It's not going to... I thought it was going to, well, it was going to happen, this next this meeting coming up. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Okay. No. We, should, we should have them come in, too next meeting or our A meeting that he can make it to yeah. and uh, explain to us some of these regulations that we are not in favor of. Right. I think this is bad. You should, you should see the gas and plumbing code. <laughs> you know, a few years ago, we, we had an issue with a home and a person's chickens. So we tried to make a regulation here. Do you remember that, Steve? I, I wrote up a regulation, and it was pretty specific about... Um, free ranging your chickens, yes. and um, if if you can't again, like a control and confinement situation, if you can't you can't control where chickens go. So if they're bothering you, then you need to house them, mm -hmm. and the housing should be so far away from a property line so that the homeowner next door isn't disturbed. If if you lock them up at night, like I lock up my roosters every night because number one, I don't I like to that. hear them at three a.m. Mm -hmm. So it muffles them a little bit, you know, and I let them out at seven or eight in the morning. Um, but they're. Uh, so, so we were going to try to write a regulation about that, that you need to, you know, if your animals are so close to a property line, they need to be contained during certain hours, you know, just to allow people, like, sleeping time. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, and away, 24, 25, 30 feet away from the property line, but it's similar to the building code. I think you have to be 30 feet to build a shed um, off the property line anyway. So we were already, and I think the decision was to just go with current regulations and deal with problem-by-problem -problem basis mm -hmm. um, and to negate that whole regulation that I wrote. So we did. We threw it out and we mm -hmm. said, you know, we'll just go case by case. And there hasn't been another case since um, with a chicken yeah. problem. So, yes. I mean, it's one of those things, <clears throat> case by case, you got somebody that violated something, built a shed too close. I mean, if there's a dispute and you say, you know what, would you mind just locking up the rooster at night? Mm -hmm. They roost anyways at night. Mm -hmm. You know, walk out there at 7 o'clock when the thing's roosting, close the door, open it up the next morning on your way to work. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it takes about 30 seconds, both trips, for me to run out there and open the door, you know? Mm -hmm. um, 
And I still think you should weigh your chickens tonight. Just to oh, see God. how many pounds of chicken I have <laughs> at home. <laughs> now, what about geese? Because geese are heavier. I got a few of them, too. Weigh them? I mean, the pigeons? I need some treadmills and lower that. I got like pole. 60 pigeons. I got to weigh all of them. <laughs> I got to weigh all of them. I got to need some help. <laughs> I got to get another job. Okay. Afford the help. Okay, right. So we agreed to have Kevin come in. Is that it? I think that's what we. Yeah, we. I believe okay. we're all being read that. that. Okay. Kind of. We're at a point where that needs to happen. Okay. Okay. He may choose to kill the bylaw. <laughs> well, we'll see. That's his choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make sure. I'm definitely going to that town meeting. Transfer station. Yes. Next item, we have the transfer station discussion. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, how's that? that gate working out? I fixed it as best I I know it was sticky, and it's a little yeah. tough when you open it. When it coming back, it worked. When you open it, the wheel turns and it rubs. Yeah, it rubs against the It rubs pole. against the bottom of it. I couldn't crank it anymore because the post, I think, is leaning just a little bit, and that little bit of lean yeah. is a difference of about a half an inch, and that's what it's rubbing. It's pushing on that. It's probably only pushing on the wheel about a quarter of an inch. Right. And I had to use some muscle, but it was working. I, well, what, what was happening... The, sometimes the wheel wouldn't even turn it. You're, you're it, pushing it, so you're it was, basically, you know, taking rubber off the wheel. Yeah. You know oh, I saw it. It was a nice yeah, little. The first couple times I did it, I did it a few times first to try to yeah. wear out the rubber for you. Yeah. But, but it's, if you uh, look at the gate, you know, like um, when you bring it up and you go put it down, that metal piece goes into that slot. Yeah. Well, when you pull, we close that gate. It won't even go on the side. It's about that far away. You can look at the top of the gate. You'll see one that's like this. Really? Yeah. So it won't even. I mean, that's on the en the entrance one. Yeah, yeah. The, the other one's fine. The other one. So it's the, the drop metal rod. will go right into the slot. So the fine. wheel is still rubbing. Yeah. That's a slight. That's a problem. But you're. But it's working better. At least <clears throat> the wheel's working. Better than what it was. The yeah. drop rod wasn't even. Isn't even reaching now. The drop rod seemed like it was locking when I fixed no, it. No, it's about that far before you even. The drop rod won't yeah, hit the ground. Yeah, by the gap before you can go into so the that's slot. just the top thing holding the thing from but going you, down. Yeah, but if so. you look at the gate, you'll see you know one's up here and one's down. Yeah, here. I don't think the gates will ever be level. Yeah. Is that ground there? And you you can't use. I was, I was trying to look and think it wouldn't be great if we get one of those nice industrial slide gates, but you can't because it's on a hill. Yeah. So you can't get a slide gate. Even opening and closing the gate, it opens up a hill. One of them opens downhill. One of them opens uphill, yeah. and the gate's on an angle. It's like the worst that's scenario for a giant should, gate. That could be excavated. Yeah, I mean it's a lot of work to try. Oh, oh, that's definitely. a that's a horrible the, 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 like you said, it, heat it, it situation. Comes down. I mean, you'd have to bring in fill, tar. I mean, right? Not have to do the whole thing. Has it always been like this? Yeah, since it was installed. And I think it just gets worse. I think the ground moves that post around yeah. so often, mm -hmm. and it's a big, big post. Even if you go three, four feet, it's yes. still going to move around. This um, plus, I think it got maybe nicked a couple times with a plow. Snow banks pushed against it. Yes. I think over years it just. It moved, I mean, it's not even that old, I don't think. Yeah, Maybe five, ten years? Yeah. Then that fence... But, it, you know, it gets its use. I mean, oh, it does. And those are giant gates. Yeah. Giant yeah, gates. Big, yeah. I mean, we could they, probably... They, they sag. And yeah. Well, and what about, what the fence company could come in. Turnbuckle. Yeah. Would that help the way that it would keep it? Possibly. Keep it, I, I, I mean... I know they have big gates, but... You know, it, I don't think the gate itself is... The gate itself, you could even reuse the frame if a company was going to come in. I mean, I think what would need to be fixed is that post needs to be reset. I think that would be the next fix. Well, long story short, um, we have the fence company coming um, May 2nd. North Smithfield Fence? North Smithfield to take a look at it. Take a look at it? Price on oh, good. Fixing it, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, it should window. be our responsibility for it. Yeah. No, I mean, I tried. I tried. We, I, no, me and my it's son fine went for out something there. very simple. For two hours and yeah. kind of mess with yeah. it and try to yeah, scissor the, the hinges and we tried to mess with it. There's so much you can do. Like yeah. That. I tried a couple of little, like, tweaking tricks to see if I could get it to. And I uh, that's where I got it to. I got it to. Right. I got it to work. Yeah. yeah. Now, better. George yeah. had taken the wheels off at one time because it was so bad. And yeah. for, for about maybe three weeks. It was fine. It wasn't hitting the ground, but then it started to drag, Staying and then we had to yeah. we had to put them basically try and put them on. One, yes. one side was fine, but the other side wasn't. So it just yeah. Once it didn't have the wheel on it, the weight of the thing, you know, you don't notice mm -hmm. it because it's slow. But as that weight's just hanging with nothing holding up that end of the weight, that's a huge gate yeah. to have yeah. hanging on any post. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean that that moves the post too, just yeah. that time. Sure. Um, so I got the wheels back on to you know 
it's good. Oh, oh I and mean, it's, it, at least they can operate it until they come right. home. You, gotta put, right. you do have to put a little it oh, yeah. push in oh, it. Yeah. Push yeah. In it. But it, it closes nice. Clo closing? Once, once oh, yeah. the wheel spins wheel around. around it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, pushing it open was, it. was a bit that's of a bear. But. Yeah. 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 So, so that's, that's what's going to It's on the list. Place. So they come on a Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Thursday, Check it out. They'll give us a quote and yeah. we'll discuss Good. that. Take a look at that. Good. Now, we're just uh, requesting a few things I feel we need up at the, the site. One is new snips. The snips we have, boy, let me tell you, they suck. The, to cut the wires off, like when we brought the wire in the copper in last time, we, I think we brought in $575. Are they like bolt yes. cutters, like the 12-inch bolt cutters? Yeah, you know they like the red, red and black ones? The yeah. bolt, but they have some small ones. Yeah. That's what we need. A good I, pair of cutters? Yeah, a real good pair. Yeah, they uh, need some snips. Yeah, good I definitely snips. need a good pair of cutters. Because yeah. the ones we have, they should they're... probably get them at like, um, like a, a good, uh, I was thinking on uh, Elwood Adams, but they're no longer. You should have a few pairs. You should have like a nice good pair of snips, stores, a good uh, pair of wire cutters, yeah. and a good <laughs> pair of bolt cutters. I mean, you should have a few yeah, different they have that. types right. of cutters. Right. We've got right. that one. <laughs> right. I mean, you guys should have... I'm saying, yeah. like tin snip, something light. Well, that's what I mean. If they, have, if they had the different, the left and right tin snip, the straight tin snip, they had them all, they could right. easily cut through all kinds of metal. At least one yeah. pair of bolt cutters where you can cut something a yeah, little thicker. I mean, thicker. we're talking, uh, I mean, total, we're talking like $150 maybe. Worth of cutters. That'll yeah. last. I mean, if you buy oh, yeah. good ones, then, they'll... Then we'd be fine. Because people are bringing air conditioners. You know, some of those wires are oh, really yeah. oh, my right. God. Right. we got to fight the trying. Yeah. Now I get to the point one of them to screw it. You should have to do that. A nice, like, 18-inch, 24-inch pair of bolt cutters. Yeah. 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 Get some leverage duty. on it. Yeah. Something's really sturdy. Too. So, yeah. It will last us. Because this one here is just about... We have to approve, like, a... Hundred dollar. I guess it would have to go through. I don't know what expenditure the on some like good cutting equipment. Do they have any kind um, of um, petty cash fund or something? No, we have to order them. And oh yeah. Does that come out of our enterprise or is that? You have to get I mean, a price, we have Home you have Depot. Home Depot doesn't always carry the best um, tools. That's yeah. Hand tools, mm -hmm. so not. Coopman's no. Coopman's may have some. You can ask Coop. Yeah, yeah, they might. They may have something. Yeah. 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 You can check with them. Good. They're up your account with them? Yeah. It would have to come from Do we one. have an account with them? No. Yeah. Oh, good, because if you have an account yeah. with them, I think it's... Hmm. Are we talking about the AC wires? Hmm? The AC wires. And it's also a lot yeah. easier to get, get through. Yeah, air conditioning cords. Some of them are so yeah. thick. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The cutters we have... I got a pair of cutters that are fantastic for AC cords. Yeah. Where'd you get them? Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, where'd you get them? Home Depot. Home Depot? Seriously? Home Depot? Yeah. But have to look around. They're yeah. strange looking, but they cut AC cord like mad. They had to cut 10, 10 3 AC cords. And this just just right through it. Another thing we need is uh, it's a, a metal rod with a like a sort of like a hook, a claw on the end. I showed Bobby what it was. What it is, uh, people will bring in stuff like um, you know the arms for pools. The aluminum ones they for the screening thing. Yes. And we've we've Mickey Mouse things in the past since I've been there. We try to Mickey Mouse save what we can and put a claw on because sometimes people will dump something like in a forty yard wood and it's leaning up there, so we need something to go in there to pull it to flatten it down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I was thinking of? Yeah. Is claw. I, you know, a long pull claw. You know, being being a plumber, I was thinking mm -hmm. I have a, a piece of an inch and a quarter copper tube. If you slid piece of one inch copper tubing inside as your extension. That'd probably be stronger. And just put, and drill a hole right through, bolt it, bolt yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then when they have to, you know, slide it, you just take the bolts out. I mean, that's the only thing I can think well, of. Well, we use like thin aluminum. Yeah. And if we have to extend it. You can buy a hay We try to fix some. What? That's it. A hay hole, you know, to pull the, in a hay barn when you get it 20, 30 feet high, you got to yeah. move the top row down. Oh, got yeah. those like 12 yeah. extension how, how poles with the claw on the end. How sturdy are they? I mean, pretty sturdy. How about that? What is it? We got to see where you order those from, but uh, like a yeah. hay loft pole, right? you know, like I a big hay loft pole. Right up the street here, Rob. Yank them. You know, um, <laughs> the <laughs> barn. Downs, Downs probably Downs. still has one in the old Downs farm. Those they, barns, I don't think have been cleaned yet. There's probably yeah, the one. horses and that kind of thing, so. Yeah. Supplies like that, I don't know if. Those kind of things tend to hang around because the main place. I wonder right. if they would have some place like that. Uh, I go there enough. Tractor supply or I gotta go. I, you know, I gotta run like Weeway this week too. Like that. I see if Weeway has something like that too. Yep. Yeah. That'd be a nice thing though. How how long of a pole do you think? Like 12, <coughs> 15 foot. 
20 foot? I think 15. Uh, 15. I'm trying to think to the bottom of the... Oh, the bottom of the dump? The dump yeah, because sometimes we have to go in there and grab something. Somebody throws something in the wrong one uh, when we first open, and we, we get out there, and we said, no, no, throw it on the end. They just... It's I mean, going. you're not trying yeah. to do it from up top, right? So you're, oh, yeah, you do it from up top. From up top and yeah. reach it. To try and reach on, rather reach it. And yeah. See, like, one thing we try and do with the 40-yard wood, we try and save the left side for mattresses. Okay. So we fill up the other side first, and I try to get there. The other two guys do the same thing. We fill it up first, so this is open. If mattress come in, we can yeah. we can lay, lay them on top of each other and save some space. Yes. Right. But as it fills up, well, then we start coming this way. Then we right. have a choice. Then we fill it up. Right. I mean, you know, sure, it is right. what it is. But, right. And sometimes uh, we might only get one mattress up to the whole week. Another time we got 12. So, I mean, <laughs> you, 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 know, you don't right? know. You, yeah. know. you just don't know. But we don't want to just throw them in there any which way because it just takes up all kinds of space and it's yes. not, you know, to get rid of it. So, we're trying to be able to right. keep that going. With that. And the other thing we need is the, a new sign. Oh, yeah. The, um, or another sign with the, uh, you can put the letters in saying stickers of do and all this stuff. Yeah. The one we had snapped. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. It broke. But we're using it. We broke it in half. We have one on the cardboard and we have one on the plastic saying, like, uh, please flatten cardboard boxes. The other one is, please, no plastic bags in with the plastic. Mm -hmm. So, and we're still using it, but we need one for a different thing to come up, you know. I might get that WB Mason. You, you yeah. can do Yeah, we'll probably need the sign plus another bag, a box of uh, letters. All right. And Check those are the three things that uh, we had. So we're going to bring it up because... Yes. The snip, so I don't know. No. Well, I mean, Dick, maybe you could just bring them down and, and, and see them, show them. Are these something that, yeah. if you yeah. think they're, they're, they're good solid, maybe you can get them at Home Depot. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I've never looked for them. But mm. but <laughs> I know those lock ones, those red and black ones. I mean, they come in all different sizes. <clears throat> yeah, I've got one of the houses that's about amazing, like yeah. this. Yeah. I believe they make it a smaller one. Yeah, I have a 12-inch pair that yeah. I use at Home I mean, for a lot of stuff. It's a yellow pair from Home Depot. We'll call you and uh, yeah. just ask them. Do you also need snips for yeah. 10 or... For well, enough, oh, for 10, not for, for the, to cut the wires. Oh, yeah. well, that, you don't need really snips. snips. You need, like Wire what cutters. he's talking about, what Dick yeah. is talking about, maybe some. The bolt cutters don't work well. This, yeah. other, yeah. this other thing really is. The snips aren't really that good. It's a surprise to me how easy it cut the wire. Well, the thing we have, it almost reminds me of a tense, that's what it, this thing looks like. I don't think it's really. So it's. It looks right. like uh, something well, that's 20, have, 30 years old that was probably pulled out of the So we got a point that cut the cords off, you know. All right, oh, let really? me bring you one and see if you like it. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Good, we'll try that out. Put a shot and just see if that's... Sounds good. What you got? Snips. That stuff we should provide pretty quick. Yes, absolutely. Pretty quick. Yeah, <laughs> Tomorrow's Tuesday, so. isn't it? Yeah, I'm not working this week. Eh, who needs you? Tell me that next week. <laughs> Is that everything, Dick? That's it. Everything? Great. So far. All right, thanks. We'll move on to the bills and warrants. Let's see. Where... <clears throat> yeah, where... You know what struck me when I looked at this? These are all expenses. It doesn't show any income. Not in that stuff. So we see only expenses. We don't yeah. see, for instance, electronics. We charge for people to throw electronics, right? So right. Why, why don't we show what it costs us versus what comes in side by side? I can print that for you. Well, I'm asking. Oh. The group. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, you, if you do that, mm -hmm. just give us something each, you know, with this. When you get it, each meeting or how and how often we get. Uh, weekly. We get weekly? Yeah, so maybe each um, month we get a list of um, the expenditures. Expenses, yeah. Expenses, also. Add, add to that list. Maybe <coughs> another column. Cardboard slowed down a little bit, huh? Is that a problem? Okay. No. It's easy. The first? Yeah. Or that first that week of January is. That would be nice to see. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. No thought of that, but that would cardboard. be cardboard. very interesting oh. to see what we're what's crazy. bringing in. Yeah. Maybe we pay for cutters. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay. January and February. Really good. All right. 
March. Boy, six, huh? Mm -hmm. That one's a low one. What tour was that? Move on to tonnages. 6.74, but the next time. I saw oh, that. Sorry, on, I was on uh, that. What's that, April 28th? March. March 28th? Yeah, but then the the very next one is 10. Why would that be on March 28th? March, or, 8, March, March 8th. 8th. March 8th? Yeah. yeah, March 8th. And then the very next one is 10 now. It jumped up a lot. Yeah, yeah. March 8th. That's a Friday. Is there a... It's a flu. No, no holiday there. Was that um, hmm. A? Yes. A. The thing I'd be, if it's an 8, it's a Friday. So they probably tried, I don't know if it was us or the other two, we try and get it out of there so we have, because what's happening now on Saturdays, we start B fresh, and mm -hmm. that thing is filled up by 3 o'clock. Yeah. Last Saturday was filled up by two o'clock. We had to go to the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it just we're, we're trying. See, so we we, we suffer with the joint because on Friday we can't get rid of any of the any of the, anything because they're closed. Blackstone's closed. So yes. We gotta we try and judge it the best we can. Shuffle it the best we can. Yeah. We're going okay. to you know once in a while. Yeah, it's gonna happen with them, especially on the, around the holidays. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. why I figured it was it was. I, I would figure it on a holiday to be right before way. the holiday. Yeah. yeah we, we normally see that. But I th I see his that. point too because. Um, you know, Saturday's a key. Yeah. That's, you've got to have empty bins. We try and go with two empties when we get in there Saturday morning, just to play safe. Because, yeah. uh, like I said, the time before, 3 o'clock was full. We had to go to A. Last Saturday, I couldn't believe it, 2 o'clock, full. I couldn't I couldn't put any more in there. Yeah. We had to jump to A already. So. Wow. Mm -hmm. I went to use the cardboard the other day. And if I had put any in, it just come back out. So yeah. 10 is about full then, huh? Because if you're filling B, and B is registering at 10... 10, 11, 10. So 10 is about all that thing back, so. Well, there's one thing I can bring up. On B, it goes so far, then we can, when it's, if it stops, I can, I switch it off and I can hit the button again and it goes in a little bit more. So oh, you really? have more compression. Yeah. A won't do that. A will go only so far and that's it. Really? Because when we had a problem with A, this is quite a while back, and I don't know, the, I'm, get, I'm thinking it's like a, Whatever the plunger is going in, I wonder if they put in a shorter one. I don't know. I'm guessing because Short it seems piston. like the other ones do the same thing. We, yeah. It would go so far that you could stop it, hit the switch, and, and go you know on hands, and it'll go in oh. maybe like six more inches. So now you can compress more in there. For some reason, B doesn't seem to. Uh, I mean, A doesn't seem to do it. B, uh, we can. It'll go in that little bit more. More. So if uh, we keep doing that, we get. It seems like we get more in there. They know? did do yeah. work on A a few years ago, so maybe when they. Yeah, I think that and that's when we know work. the difference. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe yeah. it's like available parts yeah. or something. I don't know. And I'm, I'm thinking they might have. Uh, we might be do to have on oil what's, change on that thing. What's the pressure? What's the PSI on that cylinder? Uh, seventeen. A goes like seventeen hundred. The gauge on B is screwed up. Yeah. It starts reading around 700 with nothing in it. <clears throat> so we go up to around 21, 22. So that's 700 with nothing in it. Okay. Right, with nothing in it. Okay. But for some reason, that gauge isn't right. So yeah. it starts gauge, at 7. 7 yeah, is zeroed probably out. Probably should think. be getting in. We need a new gauge on that thing. But um, let's see. So we go up like last Saturday. We got up, we up to 2,400. Right. They have to maintain. Right? I mean, yeah. reading that way. So, you know, we try... When you first start, you got to push in. I mean, even if you send it in that extra six inches, it's not going to do anything because there's not enough in sure. there. But when we get enough in there, I try and tell you, make sure you, you, you hit it again. Get in as much yeah. as you can in there because the yes. more compressed it is, the more we can get in there. Absolutely. Right? But we can't do that with A. Okay. okay. That's okay. all we can do. <laughs> Just to give you the head up. I mean, well, I, appreciate I know that was shortened. Than the, I'm not sure. It almost seems like it was. I mean, yeah. I'm saying that because it did go in before. Yeah, at one point. Like Corey said, we had some work done on it. Yeah, just a couple, couple of years, years ago. Couple of years ago, yeah. I just want to thank Dick for the extra effort that he's put in with the new employees that we've uh, we've added to the uh, transfer station. Dick has gone above and beyond helping these people out and uh, training them. Thank you, Dick. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, Dick. You're welcome. You're welcome. Another problem. <laughs> <Not a> problem. <laughs> That's greatly appreciated. Oh. It's full board. Yes. Thank you. All right. We're done with that. We'll move on from the tonnages to and the approval oh, of the minute. One question: Should yes. we call DP and just have them swap out that gauge that's broken, that broken gauge, quick? Yeah, but they yeah. do that. I mean, it's they're, probably they're, right, it's part that's, of the part of the contract. Yeah, was yeah. they maintain? Well, we that. should know these these guys should know what they're right. They're compressing them. Right, what they're saying. I mean, that's yeah. a piston. That's a lot of pressure Absolutely. on that thing. So we should Absolutely. have. 
And usually with the pressure, they should go around 17, 18. Yeah. And I'm sure both they'd be fine of them used to. What happened to the B, I have no idea. Whether it was swapped out or they, yeah. they did something. I, I, I mean, we didn't touch anything. So okay. right that's probably no, no problem for well, them. That's something that's 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 change. Yeah. Pressure gauge on B? Yeah. Pressure gauge? Yeah. Adjustment? Yeah. That's what it is, pressure gauge. Okay. okay. Can't can't no, B. A. 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 Oh, oh you mean the one going in? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, a. B has a pressure gauge. A the broken pressure gauge. B. Piston. It's not broken. It just doesn't so register. It doesn't go on the it zero. It just has a small piston. It goes to seven. Right. Yeah. So, okay. so what, do we want to fix the gauge? Or the gauge, the yeah, the gauge. I, I, the I'm gauge guessing the piston you can't fix. I'm guessing so they the, fixed okay. that. Gauge on B. Gauge on B. I, I would guess that whatever parts were available for that, they I'm fixed sure. it. And yeah. It might have been probably, a little shorter. I don't know. Yeah. That's probably what they had available. But in a way, too, it would probably hurt us. Maybe we're not getting as much might be. out. It might you know be a little bit. I mean, yeah. mm. right. You, that, right. You can pack the front of it really yeah. tight, but that back portion, it's a right. little bit loose. You can't push it. Because when it gets about this full, it's not going to have much of a... Right. It doesn't push it as much. Force. So, yeah, at some point... There's, you know, things are looser. And again, they're going to come and check the gauge. You might as well have them check the oil. I don't know if some of them could be getting lower. You know, uh, we used to do that, like, once you have them come in, double check the oil, make yes. sure there's enough in there to sure. do what we're supposed to do. So they're going right. to be there. Have you noticed yeah. any Maybe leakage? Or? No, I haven't. Okay. Last time they came to check, I think one of them they put in too much. It was oil all over the place. Okay. <laughs> one of them used to leak. It's a drawback to have them check it. <laughs> 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 okay. It's not leaking anymore because there's none left now. <laughs> <laughs> the safety vests? Yeah. yeah. They have gotten new ones? Yeah. Hmm? The, the safety vests? Yes, yeah. What's that? The, the safety, safety vests. vests? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got new ones. You got new ones? Definitely. Good. Good. How, Good. About, how about shirts? Are they going to get shirts and we're going to order shirts? Do you want more shirts? Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, we can talk about that. Okay. We, we, it wouldn't hurt. Well, now's the time to talk about it. Okay. It's, it's yeah. We're into May. Seems yeah. like we're putting an order in. And this time. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's see. Mine will be with pockets. <laughs> microwave? One microwave? <laughs> microwave. <Thumb maker. laughs> <laughs> what else do you need? <laughs> <laughs> they like to names on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, small TV. Embroidered. <laughs> Embroidered. <laughs> One Cadillac issue. No, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Yeah. It would be nice, maybe, for the winter time, if we can get the jackets. I don't know if that's possible, but. I mean, the ones with the, with the, you know, markings on the colors. Hey, colors. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Might as well mention it now. I'm sorry I gave you the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to take it as far as I can. <laughs> Look at that. We, we want mark, you know, if this is something at least to put on the, uh, on the front burner here before next winter, if they need heavy duty, you know, I don't know, in the winter time you guys just wear whatever coat. Well, that's what we do. We yeah, so yeah, yeah. At that point, there's nothing, you know, separating. They don't, again, the winter time. Look for the vest or a vest or something. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And when you're wearing a big, heavy coat, it's yeah. a little difficult. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Well, one, when you, next time you're working, come in, we'll pick out the shirts. I saw shirt uh, John Furano had one on. It was a nice one. I know where he got it in the highway department. He had a yeah. decent one on. Mm. I'll I mean, see what they get for coats. Just, he might yeah, just better find out is, you know, it's good to know anyways. Information inquiry. Well, Information inquiry, yes. Is, yeah. Maybe you could borrow permanently four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next year the stickers will be $500. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that will work. Next the minutes of March 26, 20, 2019. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the approval of the minutes of March 26, 2019. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's good. Those minutes are approved. Next, we'll move on to the old new business. We have open session for topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours in advance of this meeting. Do we have any? I do have something. Okay, Bob. Um, Disposal of medications. Yes. That's an issue. Where do we dispose? How do we dispose? I'm working on that with the police. You are? Yes. Okay. I talked to Steve yes. earlier that I was going to do it, and he and I are working on it. Okay. And as recently as last week, right. we did another step forward. Okay. I've been asked by several people about that. Yes. So 
that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, it's a good thing to. Yeah. And we should be the ones to be able to answer that question. Sure, that's why absolutely. I, I, I really want to know because uh, people are out there right. wondering. Right. And, and where the people you know, are. You don't want ask. to be flushing it down the toilet and no. this and that. And everything no, else. that's that's Flush a big no-no these days. Yeah. That used to be the way, but that's a that's a right. big no now. Uh, Webster Police takes them. That's what I usually tell people. Webster Police. Yes. Yeah. Why they, don't we take them though? Uh, no. They're a controlled substance. I understand. Well, but we don't have the capability of, of controlling the controlled substance. We don't have the legal authority to do it. But you would think that the police department would have do. some kind of containment system. Mm -hmm. The Douglas Police Department. And and they do make a trip periodically with medications or excess medications to wherever they take them. But it's they aren't set up to do it. They just send a police guy once in a while when they get some stuff. So they're See, working people are not going to go to Webster. Right. To they no, they're just throwing it in the trash. They will flush it or right. do whatever. Throw it in the trash and bring it to the, the dump. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make something gotta, easy. We've got to develop a system here. Mm. Yes. Besides just throwing it in the trash, right? Bring it down. Yeah, know. if we're making it too, too difficult for them, they go all the way to Webster. They, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we have right, we'll get back an easier. To the we'll have an answer for you next meeting. Yeah, that's good. That'd be good. That's real good. Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, he I told me there was a to... problem. I didn't realize he had a problem. So I went off on the internet and searched and I had him two answers. He said, here, these should take care of your concern. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. All right. That's all I have. Did we ever talk to the nurse about what she wants to do <clears throat> with her hours and everything? We did not. Yeah. Yeah. Did she can come. To, she can come. Maybe the next meeting. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that'd be good. She can make a nurse's report to you. <laughs> yep. from her in a while. We haven't seen her yes. in a while, so yeah. Tell her her presence is requested by the board. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I would it's like good some, to be wanted. I would like some field experience. I like to go with Corey when he goes someplace. I like to go with Bob when he goes someplace. Or I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. No. <laughs> I, go, I, go I go. I see Dick every now and then. We all go to the dump. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go there already. <laughs> but I mean, I'd like well, to go. Have a board field trip down to the transfer station <laughs> once a month. <laughs> yeah, Dick. Go right, right here, here and I'll. <laughs> Give me your cell phone number or something. Yes. And we have a, uh, an animal yeah. inspector, so sometime I like to go when the animals With Kevin? go someplace. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Oh, no. Those are fun, yeah. No. Oh, bring one to Rabies Call. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. The, day, right? the raccoon ones, those are great. Oh. Bring your 22. Good <laughs> 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 hollow points. Those are fun. <laughs> I'll bring it up next time, but I want to talk about the 30-year uh, waiver of inspection of the transfer station. There's a, there's a note in the, well, you've been the doing your state articles. <laughs> and what I'd like to do is to go back and look at the results of the inspections of the various wells and do a statistical analysis to see if they change. And if they haven't changed, then we should be able to request a waiver of the, the minimum 30-year requirement of testing and just eliminate the testing. I don't know if that's such mm -hmm. a good idea because I live downwind from there. <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps really good knowing that we test periodically. But if the results haven't changed over the years, well, that doesn't mean that they're not going to change because that's you know that landfill was loaded. I'm actually guessing that we that they have changed because I think it was yeah, a few years I ago. Yeah, they have. A few years ago, they have changed. We had as a matter of fact, you're right. We had a um, yeah. uh, almost problem yeah. where we were there was a discussion about possibly having to do more work on the back side of it yeah. well, um, it's, it's wet there that's for sure it, it is and that was was that with the arsenic the problem. bubbles yeah I, where we had the arsenic yeah. bubbles I saw high. yellow yellow water and, down through you know yeah, orange water yeah, I and you're, right, right. right. And so you but it's one of those things I mean they, once you start doing work back there that cap is such a sensitive thing that's right the life of the cap is really important and uh, keeping that thing maintained is really right. important that's why we pay somebody to cut the grass twice yep. a year. Yep. And, yep. Um, and we really we'll get to that next time that comes up because I have a comment on that too. <clears throat>
Okay, that's the next time. <laughs> All right, like you said, next time that comes up. <laughs> so, tabled. All right, do you have any other uh, old and new business you'd like to discuss? No? Well, okay. Sad. All right, so we should probably Make set a. a motion that we, no, before we do that, we need to set a new date for the oh, next okay, meeting. Yeah. Let's see, where we So that'll be May. So, should we really do the um, 20th? So, we don't have to come here on Memorial Day? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, there you're not going to come in here on Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion that we adjourn. What? Second. Uh, we do this before now? that, before we do that, oh, okay. the 20th is Victoria Day. I don't know if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Is the 20th? That's the Queen? Yeah, the 20th. Yeah, that would be in three weeks. Want to do that? Sure. Yep, 20th yes, of May. Yep. All right. Now we can Queen move on. Yep. Yeah, next time I go on an inspection. I make a motion that we uh, adjourn. You have a motion to adjourn. A second? You second. That, you do not need a second. Great. Just point that out. <laughs> okay. Amen. You have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Signing out. May 20th.